In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the liquify filter in Adobe Photoshop. Hello and welcome back to Inspiration Clan. We're going to be using the liquify filter to edit a image of a woman laying down on a table. We're going to edit the shape of the face and show you how to use the liquify filter, different tools and different settings. So let's jump straight into Photoshop. We're just going to open up our stock image, which is liquify stock. You can download this image below the video. So there we go. Perfect. Our image is loaded up. I'm just going to create a duplicate of the background layer. I always like to duplicate the background layer or the original image placed in the scene so we have a copy. And then you want to come up to filter and you want to come down to liquify. So go ahead and click on liquify and you'll see this new liquify window open up which is separate from the main window in Photoshop. Right, with this window open, you'll see settings on the right hand side and tools on the left hand side, much like you would in the, the actual Photoshop main window. So we have a few options that I want to focus on. Firstly, just you want to close up all of these um, other drop downs here. We want to focus just on the brush tool options for now. So we've got brush size. Now you want to make sure that you have a large brush size when you're editing with the liquify tool. Now the reason being, I'll show you, if we reduce the brush size down here and then we just click and drag. Sorry, let's select the forward warp tool. So the forward warp tool is the main tool uh, in the liquify um, window. These other tools can be a little bit unpredictable. So the forward warp tool is the one that I go to. These others do have um, some good effects, which we'll look at a little bit later in this video. But right now, the forward warp tool is what we want. So I'm just going to reduce the size. So this is quite a small brush, 300 in size. And I'm just going to click and drag. Now, if we look at that jawline now, the, the shape of her face, it's a little bit unrealistic. Now the reason for that is is because we've only affected a small area because we have a small brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and undo that effect. I'm just going to increase my brush size and I'm going to pull this jawline in a little bit and you can see now that's much more realistic because we've affected the areas around the jawline as well. So it's one thing to bear in mind when using the liquify tool, um, the forward warp tool, you've got to affect the whole image you can't just affect one small part because you will have an unreal unrealistic result so just bear that in mind so large brush size is good then we have the pressure now this is the the effect so if this is a hundred I'm just going to increase my brush size and click and drag you'll see it moves the shape of the face very quickly if we reduce the pressure here and click and drag it has less effect so this is the amount it affects. As a general rule, I like to have the pressure a little bit lower and perform more strokes with the brush. That way you have more control over your edit. So I'm going to leave that down at about 30. Now the density, I'm just going to reduce that right down. I'm going to click and drag. And you can see that the density is affecting mainly the center of our image. So with a low density, what, what occurs is from the center of our brush is mainly where it affects. So you can see there, with a higher density, it affects a larger area of the brush. So you want to keep the density higher. You want to keep maybe around 70. So let's say 70 and 30. I'm going to stick around that, a good setting to use a liquify tool. Um, and then what we want to do, I'm just going to undo everything just so we can go back to our original. And I'm just going to edit this image. I mean, I'm just going to perform some larger edits just to show you how powerful this tool is. And then we're going to look at some of these other tools on the panel here. So I'm just going to take this jawline out a little bit. I'm actually going to increase my brush size there. I'm just going to click and drag this out. And then I'm going to take this, the ear in a little bit. So I want to make her jawline a little bit more pronounced so there we go now you can always click your preview on and off to see the before and after so this is the before and this is the after okay so I'm just gonna pull the chin down a little bit and I'm gonna move the nose inwards there we go and I'm just gonna make the eyes a little bit wider so you want to pay attention as well where the center of the brush is because that's the area that's affected the most. So 
Let's drag this up and down a little bit, make the eyes a little bit bigger. Let's turn the preview. This is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. I'm just going to move this arm in a little bit there, reduce the arm size. Where there's a straight edge, you don't want to affect that much because it's going to be obvious. If I click and drag here, it's obviously been edited there. And the last thing you want is to have a very obvious edit within your image. Okay, so that's looking relatively good. I'm just going to take the jawline down here in a little bit. Okay, so that's before and that's after. So that is how you use the forward warp tool. Now, what I want to show you next is the reconstruct tool. So let's select the reconstruct tool. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to allow you to brush over your image to return it back to the original. So, for example, if I re uh, increase my brush size here, I'm going to click over this jawline and the, the area, top area of the head, the ear, and it's going to return our image back to normal. You can see there it's going back out back to how it was originally so we can actually come in and say no I don't like that edit I want it to be back how it was so I'm just going to draw over the whole image and you can see it changing back to normal so it's very it's almost like an undo uh, it's a history brush tool it's, it's very um, useful if you make a mistake or there's a part that you're not happy with so you can come in and use the reconstruct tool now these other tools the smooth tool we'll leave the smooth tool um, the 12 clockwise tool again this doesn't really have many uses I don't really use this tool that often but if you just click and drag it's gonna rotate those pixels clockwise so there you go you can see it's got a rotation again it's harder to use if you wanted to rotate or move part of an image it's easier to do it with the forward warp tool the pucker tool is a way to reduce the size of the image so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna click on the lips and it's going to reduce the size or if you wanted to reduce the size of the eye you can see there we've reduced that down so let's reconstruct those areas let's draw over those and bring those back to normal and then you have the bloat tool which is going to do the opposite this is going to bloat part of the image out so I'm just going to click on the lips and we're going to bloat those lips out there and we're going to increase the eye size here so you want to pay attention where the center of the brush is um, so that's where the main blow is going to happen. It's going to happen from the center of the brush. So let's turn that off and back on. And you can see the lips and the eyes have increased in size quite dramatically. So there you go. That's how you use the main tools in the Liquify um, edit, in the Liquify tools. I've hoped you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for learning with Inspiration Clan. I hope you enjoyed this video. To view the full course, visit our website inspirationclan.com. The link is in the description. For more free tutorials, like and subscribe.